Hi everyone. So I'm going to show you in today's video how I made this absolutely stunning under the ocean resin pyramid that lights up. So here's a few little details and stick around and you will see how I made it. It is a long video because it is a full tutorial. everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have been sent, this is a new resin from Naked Fusion. It is their deep pour resin and the way this is mixed is uh, two parts hard, um, resin to one part hardener by volume, not by weight. And I was, you know, when they asked me to try this out, I was thinking, what shall I do? Shall I do um, a body part? And I was thinking of doing something with some, um, you know, dental casting material and doing maybe a foot or a hand. Then I thought about this. I did this, oh, yonks ago. And this was an underwater thing and I mean yes it worked but I didn't use a deep casting resin so then what I thought I would do I thought I would try pyramid so I got this pyramid off Amazon it's by a company called Let's Resin and this will be on my suggested list it comes with a support and two pyramids and I'm going to unwrap the pyramid and because these are silicone molds I won't be needing a mold release for the resin but what I will be needing is this is hard plastic to support it what I will be needing, I'm going to keep that away from my mold, um, is some talcum powder in here just to go around the sides. And I'm going to take this outdoors. I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to take this outdoors. I'm going to go around all the edges of my hard... Uh, mold holder, I don't know what you call it, um, frame, it's called a frame. Um, and the reason I'm going to do that, it will stop my silicone mold from suctioning onto the inside. It'll make it release easier when I come to um, take, take out my mold because um, the pyramids do take quite a long time. You know, it's, you you don't just dump all the mold, um, the resin in in one go. You do it in layers. So I'm going to begin just with the tip of the pyramid today. And that will set over about 12 hours. I'm going to do an underwater scene. And thanks to my lovely friend, Louise Singleton, I'm going to leave it uh, link to her channel below these big molds and actually you can you don't have to do the whole one I am going to do it and this pyramid is going to light up as well um, you could do like a small pyramid you could do one this size I'm going to do the whole one Louise had a great tip these if you do the full size they use so much resin. Louise had a fantastic tip, so stick around and you will see how to make a huge mold with, well, not hardly any resin, but very little resin. So I'm gonna pause you, I'm gonna go and talc this outside so I don't get my studio full of talcum powder and I'll be right back. Here's my frame. It's talked, and now I get my pyramid and place that 
inside and the talc will stop it sticking and I'll just move that aside for now. I'm going to get my scales and um, if you want, so I'm going to probably put about, um, I don't know, two inches in for the first section. So let me get my, my cups. So, oh, that's sticky. I'm not going to use that one. So remember, it's by volume. Now, I don't know if any of you have these scales. They are great. If not, you can just take two cups and mark um, or get, you know, one of those measuring jugs from the hardware center. Anyway, so mine has all the different, this one is fluid ounces now fluid ounces is volume it's not weight so i am going to put that back to zero and i'm going to do one part of the hardener which is part b So let's say I do, oh, that's 1.1 ounce, 1.1 fluid ounce of part B. Let me get a baby wipe so that I always have baby wipes in my studio for that reason, the little resin drips so it doesn't get sticky. Okay, so that was 1.1. So that means I have, that's my hardener. This is my, go back to zero. This is my part A, which is the resin. And let me, Take the top off this. So this needs to be 2.2. There we go. 2.2. Like that. Now, if you're going to tint your um, resin, apparently it is best to tint part A and then add part B to it. So I am, I'm going to use a mixture of inks and um, the pigments by Naked Fusion. Um, the reason I'm going to begin with ink is I want it to be very, very light at the top. So I'm just going to, by putting one little drop in at first, I can always add more. a little bit more and I kind of have in my mind what I want to do with this and the other thing being very very naughty Protect your area. 
whenever you're working with resin, wear gloves. Wear your respirator. Put that on. Now I just have to see if I can speak to you through it. Kind of, not really. Oh, sort of. Uh, maybe just a little darker. Half a drop. Okay. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to add B to A. And this has to be mixed for four minutes. I'm going to pull this very carefully into the bottom. And quite a few bubbles are rising. That's all I want to pour. I know I have this left over. How wasteful, Jules, how wasteful. Um, right, and the other thing is I'm going to do because as I'd never made a pyramid before, I did a little bit of research and people quite often find that their pointy bit gets a bubble in the bottom. And doesn't come out perfectly pointy so just go around your edges so I would say that is about two inches maximum at its from pointy bit so this is good now I don't want any bubbles I'm going to be patient just make sure that pointy bit hasn't got bubbles. Okay, I'm going to cover this up and we'll come back when this layer has set. By then, I will have actually drawn out some kind of plan of what I'm going to do. So, see you when it's dry. I told you in the last part of the video that thanks to Louise, I had learned a trick. Um, apart from the talcum powder trick, which is fantastic. So this is one of the largest pyramids you can buy. Now I've said that, there's probably like a much larger one. And if you were going to fill this with resin, you would it would take 42 ounces of resin. And that's very, very expensive. And if you're going to fill it for, with lights, because this is going to be a, um, a lighted pyramid, like for night lights or just to light on your shelf, um, if you're going to place those lights within the resin and those lights break, well, then you don't have a lighted pyramid anymore. So what Louise came up with was getting a bottle and she had a ribbed bottle, you know, like any normal water bottle and recommended getting a smooth bottle. So I have this smooth water bottle and she used hot glue. What I've done is cut the top of the water bottle off and filled the hole with 
um, silicone. And you'll have to watch this video full length through. And I'm gonna put this in the middle here. Which is gonna be tricky. And I think I'm gonna move you to my other camera. So I have my glue gun and I'm just going to put just a little tiny blob of, I hate those stringy bits, of hot glue on the bottom to get it to stick exactly where I want it. So now, now the bottle is steady, I'm just keeping this in place to make sure that the um, bottle is staying in the right place till the glue is actually completely dry. I drew a plan of my pyramid. So we know we have the top of the pyramid is a clear like turquoise light blue and i have a plant which is going to the bottom of the pyramid now remember this when you're doing a pyramid everything is literally upside down so when you're doing it you have to put everything upside down so the second part of my pyramid which i'm going to do today and like each layer takes roughly two days to dry so I'm going to be using the deep pour resin for this part, this part, this part, and this part. And then I think I'm going to do for this, these three parts, just the regular resin, because I don't think they're deep enough to use the deep pour resin. Um, I'm going to have tur one turtle and some jellyfish and some more part um, plants in this. And then I'm going to have another turtle around here and some more jellyfish in this section and then down here I'm going to have some plants and shells and down here I'm going to have pebbles and sand and down here this is going to be like the bottom of the ocean this is going to be some sand maybe with some tiny shells and some teeny starfish at the bottom and then this is going to be the deep blue ocean so and then then you'll see how i get the bottle out which is why you have to stick around and um that's the interesting bit and because of the bottle you use a fraction of the resin because that's the void that once everything's dry that i'm going to put the lights in and then how i finish it off is going to be very neat with a the lights in the void and a little battery pack inside there and a neat little cover on the bottom that you can take off and if you need to replace the batteries or take the lights out and put new lights in voila so i'm going to mix the resin i'm going to put my uh, mask on um, I have my little turtles. I'm only going to be using one of them today because I only want one on this layer. I've got some little pink jellyfish, some little white jellyfish. I've got some teeny baby ones. Um, so today we're just doing another kind of blue aqua um maybe a couple of jellyfish and one turtle so let me get mixing with my resin and i will be back i've created this kind of weird anchor because i'm not a hundred percent sure this bottle is going to stay in place and i am going to put this paint bottle in the middle Oh, to 
make sure it doesn't float away. So um, I mix the resin for four minutes because it's so thin, it really doesn't gather many bubbles. And what I used this time was the Naked Fusion Luxe Mica Pigment Powder, but I used a tiny, tiny amount because I wanted it to be translucent. So I'm going to pour this around the edge. I'm going to place one jellyfish in here and I'm going to use, let me get a pointy stick. Jellyfish there. And where's my little white jellyfish? Oh, no, I don't want them touching. Another jellyfish there. Um, I think I'm going to put another little plant in. Right. So now that all just has to wait for a couple of days which would be great because um, then I can take the tape off and we can just um, start building up the layers. So the layer I'm on right now is um, the third layer. Jellyfish, turtle, jellyfish. And then add more plants at whimsy. This is the last of the third layer going in with the little mica flakes and glitter. Let me find some tweezers. because I want to make my jellyfish and turtle. So uh, the first turtle is down here. So I'm going to put my next turtle, remember it has to go upside down. Next turtle. It's going to be swimming here. That's kind of weird, but it will all make sense when it when it gets uncovered. It all makes sense. Okay, and then I need another jellyfish. This corner looks a bit empty that way. And then, where are my white jellyfish? Look at that one. Oh my gosh, look at that one. Oh my goodness, can you see this? Oh, let me look in the camera and see if you can see this. That is the teeniest, tiniest jellyfish. I don't even know if it's going to float upside down. Go on, go upside down. That is 
cute. I don't even know if I can control it. It's just going to... Oh, actually, in real life, you can't make jellyfish do what they're going to do. They just float where they want. So that's just going to go where it's going to go. This one is going to go over here. Okie dokie. It's now time for my next layer. And I think this is going to be the last deep pour. Um, now on this layer, I'm doing plants and shells and a little tiny family of jellyfish there. So um, I have, because they float to the surface really easy, so I popped some hot glue on their heads and glued them down. Same with that tree. The shells are loose. I've got some pearls in some shells. I'm going to place them down because that's what you'll see when the pyramid's the right way up. So I think I'll put one of those in each corner. And I can never decide if I like the look of a shell this way or this way. And I think I prefer it this way. So I'm gonna have a, a mix, a mix of those there. And let's see. So I don't want like, like tons and tons of shells because after this layer is going to be pebbles and sand. So I want to be able to see the sand through this layer. Um, let's see. This is a kind of pretty shell. And I might get quite a few bubbles from the shells. And I'm going to have to keep poking them down. So, yes, my next layer is going to be pebbles and sand. And I'm going to do what I usually do with the sand, which is mix it with Elmer's glue all. And then... Once that has set, see that one's popping up. I'm gonna do one very, very last layer of normal resin, and that's gonna be a navy blue. And the reason that's gonna be dark is because I want it to hide the battery pack, which is only really, really thin. And the sand's gonna help hide the battery pack too. So it's getting near the end. Here's my sand that I collect from a beach. And you know, it's got all the like usual little bits and pieces that you find on a beach. And I've put it in a clear cup this time so you can see roughly um, two thirds of sand and one third of Elmer's glue all. Let's put a bit more sand in it. And I want the sand to be about uh, just under half, half an inch thick. So I'm gonna mix this till it is like in a sculptural Form. Looks like there's too much glue, but there isn't because I've got, see, all that sand at the bottom. So these look like they're sitting on the bottom of the ocean. And um, the um, sand typically takes, oh, about at least overnight. 
to dry. And put some teeny ones and a few pebbles. We'll put a few more shells so we'll get like different depths. And a few pebbles. Oh, that's pretty starfish. Let's put that one in. Put that one there. Okay, and then a few little pebbles. Just a couple. Represent the bottom of the ocean and now to apply the sand. All right, let's put the sand on. What I decided to do was keep the sand away from the edge of my pyramid because, um, you know, as, I, as you know, I do lots of beachy things. And once this sand sets, it's, it's literally like concrete. So I'm having to babysit it right now. So I've, I bought these makeup thingies, makeup application sponges at the dollar store a while ago. These are always kind of handy to have in your studio, by the way. And I've got some um, isopropyl alcohol. And the reason I'm having to babysit is the sand is creeping constantly. So I'm having to keep it away from the side of my pyramid because I really believe when I peel this pyramid off, if there is sand touching it, this pyramid is a goner, as they say, so, you know, it's just, it's just going to represent the bottom of the ocean. I'm not trying to recreate the ocean, but I know, and if, you know, there's alcohol left, around the sand as we know alcohol evaporates extremely quickly by the time the sand has dried there's not going to be any alcohol left and the top layer is going to be like a, a dark navy blue which is going to hide where i'm going to put the lights and the battery pack so I'm just going to keep going round and round and cleaning this up until the sand stops moving. And then tomorrow we will be back and put the final coat on.
And then we finished. We have one more layer before I take the bottle out. And once that's dry, I'm going to do um, remove the bottle and you'll see how that's done. And then I'm going to do another layer of this same color where I will place the magnets. So this is Peacock Blue by um, Naked Fusion, the Lux Mica Pigments. And I've got plenty of this, but I don't want to go over the top of the bottle. And you'll see I left a nice um, gap around uh, this, the sand from the edge and the sand from the bottle because I thought it might stick. So I'll just go around that carefully. The deep blue ocean. Cover that sand. I'm excited about finishing this. And you want the magnets hidden in the resin so they don't pop out Okay, that's good. We'll come back tomorrow, do one last layer. Now comes for the exciting bit to get the bottle out. So you take your heat gun and basically you're gonna heat the inside and the bottle will start to peel away from the walls. So I'm going to turn the sound down while I do this. You don't just hear the whirring of my heat gun. Okay, so this is the least enjoyable part and it does take a while to get the bottle out, but it's out. And then there is some glue residue in the bottom. So all you do is you take your heat gun and melt that glue. Because it's towards the middle of the the um, pyramid, I doubt you'll see it. And then, see it's only a tiny bit. And then just dig it out. And then you can always like tip a little bit of isopropyl alcohol in. And swish that around to clean it. The other thing I'm going to do is sand around this top. It is the day of reckoning. Now, on hindsight, I would not have taken the bottle out before this stage. I don't see the point, to be honest. But I did. And it seems to have worked. Let me put my glasses on. So I'm going to take this foil out. Which seems to be coming out pretty easily. Let's take the pyramid out of its frame. And... I have the lights on standby. Okay, the big reveal. 
da, 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 da. <gasps> Let's see. <gasps> oh my gosh. I got, I, sorry, I have to shut my camera's on. Yes, it's on. I am beyond, beyond, beyond. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to bring you down for a close up of all these angles. And then, so, I can put all the lights inside. Oh, now this is finished. And look at my pointy bit. It's perfect. And look at the jellyfish and the pearls in the shells. And look, 18 karat gold anchor. That's why this is not gonna be $50 on Etsy, folks. There's a turtle diving, pink jellyfish, and a turtle swimming here. Oh my, like literally, this couldn't have come out better. It's that big fat bubble on the bottom, but that doesn't matter. So let's put the lights in. I think I'm going to use, maybe I don't want to use the stand because it's going to make it all talky. So I'm going to put the lights in. This is a yay moment. And turn them on. Yay! Oh my goodness, this is so, so cute. Okay, so now where is my, I could just lay that on the top there. That's not really gonna show. Where is my base? So here's the base I made. I just covered it in black felt. And you can see that just clips on. And then, oh my God, I've got to bring you down for a different angle. This is so beautiful. And then I'm gonna to have to take you into a nicer room out of my studio and just show you the effects. It's it's gorgeous, well worth the time it took me. And so again, this is a Naked Fusion resin. And if you're gonna do something like this, and I'm going to do another one for sure, I've learned some mistakes along the way, some shortcuts, this will be on my Etsy store. Um, so let's go into another room and we'll take a closer look. But I am so happy. So, so happy. Um, there, shell and a pearl. White jellyfish. There's some pink jellyfish. And Where's my turtle's mate? There's my turtle's mate going down, sniffing a shell, there's some more jellyfish, there's beautiful plants. And what's so easy, it's on a felt base. And while other people put lights in the resin, this is so simple. It's on a magnetic base. But the lights are there. And you can just turn them off and turn them on. 
And I can't do that now because I'm only doing this with my one hand. And it is a beautiful underwater oceanscape, which you can light up and have in the night light or on your shelf. So thanks for watching and I will definitely be doing more of these because now I've got this down. Took me two weeks. I think the next one will take me one week. See you on my next video. Bye.